Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and this is Let's Play Humankind. The eye is still a little bit confused with life. Uh, they seem to make a sport out of covering every water tile in front of my coast. But yeah, I can't really... <laughs> ridiculous. I don't know what they're trying to accomplish there, but I think they can't fight these death stacks of hoplites of the uh, Hamanawanams. I don't still know how to pronounce them. They had another, there we go, they had another death stack up here, that's even worse. Uh, Halberdiers, Harris, it's probably their special unit, and yeah. Not fun to fight those, uh, and apparently the Mayas, uh, the, the uh, Aztecs can't fight them, so they just spread out their units on the water. It, I don't get it though, I mean the Hunic Hordes, yeah, they're not that great actually. Yep, they're not that great. And they're pretty far from the next era, from the next tech, probably. Hmm. Could we support you a little? Not really. You can't really gift them any stuff. We could buy their resources and we could buy their copper. At least they get a little money out of it. So we could do that. But uh, other than that, there's not really much we could do to help them. Oh well. That's life. <clears throat> you have my greetings, but that's all that you're getting. <laughs> okay. Um, and apparently we can't trade with these dudes. Yep. For some reason. Anyway, uh, how about the English? Can we declare war on them now? How do you do? Minus one. Whoever nope, you are. We can't. We can't. Why can't we? We could attack them here, though. But that'll just give them war score on us. Uh, make a couple pikemen here. We'll bring some units there. Um, yeah, sure. We'll bring a couple units there. Uh, soon we'll be able to buy out units in Hak Matana anyway. Because we have 18 population in there that we could sacrifice if push comes to shove. So no problem. And we'll try and find some reasons to fight the Brits. But uh, I'm not too optimistic. It's pretty hard to go to war in this game. Poison apples. Ooh. Okay. With trans-oceanic trade bolstering the empire's coffers, the people are enjoying an influx of exotic fruits and vegetables in many shapes and colors and tastes. However, not all the product is being well received. Only one succulent red fruit from Nightshade family is being blamed for the death of wealthy citizens in Carthage. And some whisper it's an ingredient used by witches. Oh no, we can't have witches in the city. Among the elite, the calls for its banning on these shores are loud and shrill. What's your response? Ooh, plus 30 and plus... Okay, we can outlaw it. Pretty easy solution there. We could dismiss it. High chance of good consequences. We could research it. Minus 20 money. I mean, yeah. Uh, you guys, by the way, it saw probably we're gonna research it, obviously. Because that's what intelligent people do, or uh, proactive people, anyway. Uh, you guys probably saw I rearranged a couple of population to get more money, but it didn't do that much. Just up to 1400. Utica is now idle. Mm, also, we need to switch this on. Yeah, we still have 100 stability, so we're gonna go with you. And. You and you. That's going to bring us a lot of influence. And after that, we'll need food, though. And we can now finally attach this region. I don't think there's any risk in doing this. Well, except that we don't have food now. But we could buy ourselves a couple food producing districts up here. Plus eight. And plus six. And we'll prefer those. Um, spend a thousand, sure. I mean, it's easy enough. Uh, we'll get some people from industry in here. Okay. Like so. And we could also get this tile here. That's another thousand, probably. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay. Mm, have another farmer there. Do we have anything to improve our farming? Plus two food on rivers. Yeah, we don't have rivers. That's the problem here. Nope. Nothing for food. Though we must build these science buildings. 
definitely want that. Okay, <clears throat> that's gonna do it for this city. And next one is Venetia here. Yeah. You already finished the entire construction queue. Wow. That's crazy. And they still say one turn. Plus 22 industry. <laughs> sure. I'll get a little industry. I'll get a little industry there. No problem. Uh, where was my food stuff? Over there, yeah. Another one here. Uh, we also want a harbor there somewhere. Does it recommend or something? Yep, it does recommend one. Plus 21. I'll take plus 21. Can we build multiple harbors? I think we can. Plus 18. But here we get also science. Um, we'll take that. Okay, and we'll prioritize one up here, like so. That seems like a good plan to me. This music is lulling me to sleep, by the way. It's so relaxing. And we're gonna bring you home. <coughs> generate and you are gonna come around and we're gonna soon be in friendly waters that means we can actually upgrade you we'll get this curiosity there what are these okay still just regular riders well, we're getting there with the influence but I mean we're certainly not getting there with the money absolutely crazy to me that we are making 1500 a turn and we're not even close to probably even getting one Merchant star in this uh, in this era. As merchants, mind you, we're Venetians, right? But no, 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 we're not getting any stars. Okay, so we got this build up. Um, we got plenty of room for people, so we need more food. Question is, how we're gonna get it? There's not that much room for food. What do you suggest? Plus 16 up here. Uh, sure, we'll build ourselves a couple of food districts here. Maybe some more. Yeah, they only bring plus 3. Yeah, they only bring stability. We don't... We do have enough stability, so that's not really what we need. Mm, but I'll build a couple of industry quarters here as well. Just down to there, uh, so we can reach that food over here. Let's see, can we build ourselves a couple more harbors here? Yeah. We can build one here. And one here, and we shall do just that. Uh, 16 turns is a little harsh. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get these... We'll get these money. Plus two money per trader, plus one money. Yeah, we'll just get all the money buildings. And that should be fine. I think it's a crazy amount of stuff we're building already. Ah, uh, yeah. So the game still suffers a little bit from... Um, like, you you discover so much stuff, but you are not able to build it. Um, from that discrepancy there. But it's much, much less than it, it used to be. Centralized power, yeah, so we got even more stuff we can build. Maybe I'm just a little fast with the research, like I prioritize it too much. Maybe that's a problem. But towards the end there, I feel there's no chance in hell for me to actually... Okay, we probably want to take a stop over here. Over there, and then go up there, something like that. There's no chance in hell for me to... Uh... Ooh to build all the things, like keep up with the tech in terms of building. Feels next to impossible. Um, we have 45 food a turn, though I think we want to invest a bit more food here. Reach these rivers here and sneak in plus two per farmer. Yeah, definitely like that. <coughs> mm. Also that one. 
and of course scouts and palisades as well because if the British fight us they might as well have it a little bit more difficult okay they ah they chicken out if we attack him here we need to declare war oh they're actually stronger than we are how's that possible horsemen and swordsmen and we got ah oh, we got these guys okay how about we make some halberdiers out of you? Who's stronger now? Uh, still. Okay, we'll join these up. Who's stronger now? It's still them. Hmm. <laughs> I don't believe that. That doesn't make sense to me, because we got these uh, these shooters there. I don't want to settle here. No, I wanted to explore it first. Yeah, yeah that's the new new island over there. But we can't get up here. Maybe here? No, oh, curiosity. And sanctuary. We certainly want to burn this one down. Don't need any shenanigans there. Idle army. Uh, yeah, we'll just hang out on this rock. Accept their offer. What's your offer? You, you want an alliance? I'm this is an interesting sorry. offer that you make. Would that bring us into war against the British? They're still fighting them, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so they have peace. Um, so we're going to refuse this. No. Nope. Ah, uh, one idle army. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we can't get through here, but we'll definitely want that. Oh, this. Does a lake like this exist? Probably. Yeah, we'll just go here. Oh man, only 25 turns left. Do we want to gobble you up too? Mm. It is a rather productive land, and we do have space for another city. Could then just join territories to it. And I think I'll keep that one for later, um, because we also want to... Yeah, another Builder Star. Yeah, we, we won't get the Merchant Star. It's crazy. We won't get it. Oh yeah, we need the wonder too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Taj Mahal was the one I want to pick. Yep. Thank you so much. Claim the wonder. Uh, yep. Okay. Idle city, Carthage. Well, isn't that convenient? Can I see a list of my cities? Sort by money output. Karma is still making the most money. How's that? You make 250, Carthage makes 217. You do that with 13 people in 227. Yeah, they still make more. So they seem to be just more efficient at it. Maybe we just have more of these buildings that help. Let's get a couple of these. A bank. Oh, uh, there's an expensive building. <laughs> we'll get two in here. Uh, we have a bank. We people. We'll get that administration. Plus two money per trader. Plus one from ongoing trade. These ones. These ones we can actually buy out, I think. Yeah, they're really cheap. Food market. This one too, I mean, it's not too much. Commodity market, no, okay, so we'll go with the bank first. Um, ah, the customs farm, then the commodity, and then the bank. I mean, the bank is, is the strongest of them, but plus 10% on 200, it's not that great. Plus 5 on main plaza, plus 3 on luxury deficits. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Don't really need this. Plus three money on harbor, yeah, whatever. That that's enough stuff. Okay, and uh, we'll just find a nice spot to build the uh, wonder, and I'm probably going to do it in the capital. Here is a proposal to get your heart racing. What? My heart racing? From you? 
wanting open borders from me, but you know what, you can have it. I'm in a favor doing friendly mood, and we can get your second iron, there we go. And we'll buy a bit of porcelain. Not all of it, just a little, because that gives us influence, if I remember correctly. I know it, we'll just buy all of it. It's cheap as hell anyway. There we go. Cool. Loads of stability. Yeah. Cool. It's a little bit disjointed, our empire, though. <laughs> we do need armies everywhere. Um, yeah, you want to ransack this? Thank you so much. And we want to bring you over yonder. Like so. That looks good. Bring you home in friendly waters. And that's going to be turn 125 done. Actually, wait. We have all the strategics here. Yep, we do. Okay. Uh, we can upgrade these guys. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's uh, do a little upgrade fest over here. Um... Hello? There's five units in this. Oh yeah, there's still five. There we go. Okay, that's the one. And then that's the second. There we go. Bam, bam. Shazam. Wham. Cool. And we're gonna buy out a couple more army units, because they're really cheap anyway. And the waltz continues. <sighs> the AI needs some work, but hey. Hey, look at that. We're an idle city. So we can actually get ourselves a couple of units there. Uh, we want one more rifleman here and then a couple heavy... Frontliners. Um, I think this is good. Like so, cost of three people, no problem. We have plenty anyway. Let's put them back in science. Okay, I got the cheap stuff here. Influence, food markets, um, some walls. Just get rid of that cheap stuff, it just annoys me to have it in the construction queue, I and mean, that's pretty much... Oh, we didn't even have that! Uh, it's no wonder we are lacking food. That should actually come... Yeah, that tripled our food output, thank you very much. Um, And then we'll go for the money grabbing. And uh, yeah, we'll just visit back once we work through that construction queue. Okay, now we discovered a little bit here. Hmm... There's some people there. Uh, cannot be done as you must wait for this outpost to become a city. Okay, so we need that to be a city before we can treaty with them, but that's okay. Now let's see. Can we build an outpost here? Oh, plus 15 and 8. I think we'll start over here and then join this territory there. Yeah. Ah, no, actually, no, 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 we need to start here. <clears throat> so we can have a faster city building. We need the industry is more important for outposts. Um, 5 and 11... I think is the best. Yeah, it's in a nice location too. Um, from here we'll start building... Uh, actually, 814, that sounds perfect. It's in a nice location, because from here we're going to build Marcus districts all over here. Cool. And, uh, yeah, you just hang out here. Can we already... Yeah, we can. Cool. And you just wait there, protect the land. Good. <clears throat> yeah, most of this is going to be ours. We're going to settle it from the top and settle it from the bottom. We still have one city that we can get. And there's more tax for administrators, so... Okay, just navigate the coast. Nice and easy. And then we even have some ships over here. 
And the rest we can just buy out. I mean, we're making 1800 a turn now. So we can just buy everything we need. Patronage. Thank you. We can now have a new Civic. We already have three Civic points. It's ridiculous how fast that goes. <laughs> Foreign war again. Trade route blocked. Four routes. Okay. Halted your purchase of Postal Lane from the Mayans. Yeah, not really a problem. I don't think. Let's look in on one of our influence. Uh, oh, we're down to 40. Okay. So we need to bring in some stability. What's that? Lead manufactory. All right, we can improve our. Oh Jesus! Okay, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a buyout fest. Um, but first we need a bit of. Did we start these? No, we didn't start them anywhere. These um, commons quarters. We need a couple of those. Probably here is okay. Just get a couple there. Like so. Um, and we'll bring you up here. That's higher priority. We buy you out. Um, yeah, we'll just build these two and then see where we stand with this stability. <coughs> One idle army that can hop on here. How are you guys doing? Fine. Good. Seven. Yeah. Good luck fighting that. Three shooters. Nice flanking army, and we have some anti cavalry just for show. So uh, that city seems to be okay in terms of defenses. Hold that thought though. Yeah. How are we compared to them? You have my greetings. But we are much more powerful, really. I don't see it. How we are much more powerful than them. I really don't see it. They do have a significant army there. Okay, let's come around here. Oh, no coastal water there. Uh, we'll just get into this. We can hang out one turn into the uh, uh, in the non-coastal waters. Mm, this is going to be a district in two. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's quickly check through the cities. Carthage is okay, stability-wise. We dealt with Utica. Kadir is okay. Hamtam, Tamtam is okay. Venetia is fine. This here is just an outpost. And the capital is fine. Okay. Good. So we can end that turn. We still don't have a merchant star, but uh, I think... I think we might get one. I will get one more tech and one merchant star and then we'll switch eras and I think we can make it to the last one even though just barely. Yeah, I didn't really play optimally. Oh, hey, there we are. Esteet star. Oh, yeah, that was the, the influence ones, right? Yeah, we made that crazy. <laughs> we can't get the merchant stars. It's crazy. Trade roads blocked. Foreign war declared. Dudes, just stop doing that. We're probably gonna be 34. Okay, it's not too bad. 44, and uh, this one can be built regularly. Now that we have one here, we have one coming there. Let's see what it brings us to build one here. Plus 20. Yeah, we'll get that one as well. Lose a little food. But that's okay. We don't want more people in here anyway. Um, what if we move you over here? Perfect. We'll just stay like that. Um, you can science the science. You can money the money. And uh, yeah, that, that's fine by me. We'll just stay like that until we have some more modern tech. Remind me later, please. Thank you. Uh, revelatory arts. The invention of movable... Typeface is a great breakthrough, but has the potential to cause massive disruption to existing powers. Via the printing press, ideas, both profound and dangerous, can now be easily dis disseminated. Artists are in the vanguard of this revolution. Mm -hmm. 
Market quarters, more money, less, uh, more influence, less money. Marcus quarters, one influence, minus one industry. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, plus one combat strength. Really don't care for that. Artistic expression, press freedom. We can get more civic points. But mostly I'll do this to cement. I'll, I'll keep this one because it has a profound effect on um, liberty. So I keep that one to correct liberty if we need it. Army wages. Um, no, that doesn't help me at all. None of these are interesting. I mean, I want plus five on the main plaza, but I want the, the science output. Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll go with it. It's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll get it corrected. And uh, currently we could use the influence, so... We don't really need the science. We're fast enough with that. It's fine. <laughs> um, What do we want here? We do have plenty of food, so no problem there. Mm. Do we want to start on the science already? Not really. We can't reach it. So we'll continue on with the ridiculous Marcus quarters there. Um, another one here. How do I get down there? We have the hamlets that we could build. Oh, we, the hamlets can be built anywhere, right? Okay, so we'll build a hamlet here, actually. Um, I don't know which one it was. We'll try this. Build a hamlet here and then build some science districts around it. We'll try it. For science. Because the hamlet was the building that was really destroying the game balance in the first playthrough. And we'll see if we can't destroy it once more. Uh, destroying it by, you can uh, just place a hamlet somewhere and then build districts around it. And uh, that is a problem for obvious reasons. I'd like them to find a way, though, uh, that you could have these buildings that would give you uh, the opportunity to build districts anywhere that don't have to be adjacent, like... Um, you, you can just build a building randomly somewhere and then attach districts to it. I would love for that to be the case, but it needs to be balanced. There needs to be a cost or a downside to it somehow. Um, but just look at this region, for example. We How are we ever going to reach this part of the region? Uh, we'll have to build like Marcus districts in a line or something. It, it really it looks ugly and it doesn't feel very good to be gamey like that. It's much better if we could just build a hamlet here and then start a district there. Um, so, yeah, I would love for them to be able to do that, but balance it out somehow. Lucky me, I'm not a game designer. Okay, let's take a quick peek at what we have available. Ooh. Astro... Austro-Hungarians. The British! We're not interested in the possibility of defeat. Here, here. Wow. Plus five money, plus ten money. That's okay. The French, the Germans, <laughs> militarists. Well, we used to be U-boat, really. That's crazy. The U-boat Krieg, jawohl. <laughs> okay, nice. Plus three combat strength on heavy weapons. Well, well, well. Look at you. Sadly, it's so hard to start wars. Italians. Mm -hmm. Mexicans. Really? Wow, why not stuff a quesadilla in, under the belt there? <laughs> That's like... Oh man, that looks a little bit too culturally enriched, that, that portrait there. But Russians, Cossacks. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna look through those. Uh, we'll find a nice one to pick. Should we take one more turn? Yeah, sure. Let's take one more turn. And one more sip of the cup.
cultural conversion started. Chanson will enter the sphere of influence of the English in 10 turns, will it? Let's actually check out the sphere of influence here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need more influence here. Definitely need more influence there. But maybe that's going to influence our next... Um, our next pick. Oh, I'm sitting right by this discovery, but whatever, it's fine. We'll uh, bring you home here, friendly territories, and then make a powerful Karak or heal it for 200. No, you can be a Karak and then you're healed anyway. Hey, what do you know? And these guys can... Uh, they can travel the, travel the seas, right? They don't have any military and transport roles. So these guys could travel here, I hope. Okay, we got some... I offer an oh, I'm gonna counter 7,000. Sweeten the proposal and we may be able to agree. No, thank you. Take your feeble proposal elsewhere. <laughs> I, was, I was half expecting to tell me, uh, take your feeble proposal and stuff it where the sun doesn't shine, but hey, they were quite diplomatic. But you have to be if you're as weak as they are. I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's just common sense. Idle army, yes, yes, we can come around here. So we did discover, I think, the majority of the, uh, of the new continent there, which is awesome, which we couldn't do last time we played through the game. So that's a big improvement. I really feel I'm so optimistic now that I've played this far, uh, that they're going to develop this in the right direction. I'm, I'm going to give a wrap up in my last episode, uh, of course, but can already spoil it. This open death beta has made me very, very optimistic about the direction the game development is taking. Anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day and see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.